way. The first stage of the Proton M uses six RD-275 engines, providing almost two million pounds of thrust. They will burn for about two minutes and four seconds before first stage separation occurs at an altitude of about 26 statute miles, with the Proton traveling 3,900 miles an hour. The Proton's six first stage engines that you uh, see uh, with strap-on boosters, those are actually fuel tanks, not solid rockets. They're fuel tanks. It's all hypergols for the Proton M. They're all integrated into the first stage propulsion system. Four second stage engines, three RD-210s and one RD-211 will ignite a second or two prior to first stage separation and will burn for about three and a half minutes, providing 539,000 pounds of thrust. The second stage separation occurs at the five minute 31 second mark into the flight as the Proton reaches an altitude of 75 miles traveling almost 10,000 miles an hour. The payload fairing that encapsulates the Nyoka module will separate in a clamshell fashion 13 seconds later, just a few seconds after third stage ignition of a single RD-212 engine. That will burn for almost four minutes in the final stage of powered flight, creating an additional 138,000 pounds of thrust to place the multipurpose laboratory module into its preliminary orbit with a final assist from four small vernier engines that will burn for 12 additional seconds after third stage shutdown. Spacecraft separation from the third stage of the Proton is scheduled nine minutes and 40 seconds into the flight. At that point, Nyoka should be at an altitude of about 125 miles, beginning this eight-day journey, raising its altitude in a very incremental fashion to match that of the International Space Station for an automated docking eight days from now.
And we now have confirmation of solar array and navigational antenna deployment. All external appendages have been deployed. Nyoka en route to the International Space Station.